this year, September, I will not be going to drama school because I got rejected from Lambda. I got a waiting list from Alra, and let's face it, I didn't hear anything back from Alra in 2015. Stop. Stop. You couldn't have been any more wrong. I haven't been up for very long. Whoa, I'm well overexposed. Come on. Bring the light down, bring the light down. Who's that? Oh, I'll put my phone on silent real quick. Done. Probably guessed by the title of this video what has happened. In fact, I don't know whether to, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know, I'm speechless. I genuinely thought 2017, after my last drama school update video, I, I wasn't going to be doing another one of these videos. I really did think that because I thought all hope was lost. I stopped fighting. I stopped pushing f for my. I stopped pushing for what I wanted because I know you should never give up. But I didn't give up. I sort of. I, I paused myself. I said, so, right, right. You've done it this year. You've auditioned. You haven't got anywhere. Just stop. Wait for the time to come around again. And then you'll go through it all again, and you try again, when the time comes. A lot of people say you should never ever stop fighting, never stop fighting for what you want, never stop working towards what you want, never stop believing in what you want, you know. And I, <coughs> I stopped believing that I had a chance, I stopped working towards it. I paused myself and I stopped and I, I thought, you know what, James, it's going to be another year where you're just going to be working uh, to get by, to maybe save up some money, to then attempt to do it again and then get rejected again, blah, 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 until the start of this week. Today's Saturday. I think it was on Tuesday, Monday. I don't actually know. My head is that. My head is all over the place right now, so I don't know the exact day, but it was at the start of the week. I was sat at work in the gym. I was doing a bit of overtime covering some people's holidays and stuff, and I was just sat doing my personal training work, and inside me, there was just an urge. This is exactly, this was my exact thought. It's gonna sound extreme, but like, it's not like, it, don't take it literal. Like, my exact thought was, I'm not going to die if I ring up Aura and talk to them about my position on the waiting list, you know? If they say, unfortunately, James, you're not, you know, you, 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 you're not what we're looking for at a minute. I'm, that, that's not going to kill me. That's just going to already confirm what I had believed, you know. And then I would have waited until December time come around and then I would audition again. So I thought, you know what, I'll ring up. So I rang up in the morning, around half eleven in the morning, on Monday or Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. We'll go with Tuesday. And I spoke to the reception lady who was really nice. She said, the registrar isn't in at the minute. Call back at midday. So I called back at midday. Midday being an hour later at half twelve. <coughs> so I'm pretty keen. She goes, oh, he's still not in at the minute, so just call back in a bit. So I waited two hours <coughs> just before I finished work, because I finished work after two, so I waited like until like 20 past 12, and I rang again, and I got through to the registrar and spoke to him, and he said, uh, if you just, if you just wait, if you just hold the line, I'm going to go and speak, I'm going to go and grab the, the woman, the lady, Ali, who runs the course, and we're going to dig out your files and all that stuff, and we'll and then he just goes, just hold the line. He's gonna, he didn't tell me, he didn't give me any instruction or whatever. So he said, hold the line. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Um, and then I waited a minute. And then another guy answered the phone. He goes, hi, James. Do you mind calling back at around half three, four-ish? So I said, yeah, call. Uh, yes, of course. I'll call back at half three. And then I finished work. I went and my girlfriend picked me up. And um, in the car, I said to Sophia, I said, you know what would be the craziest thing if when I rang back that they would, that some miracle would happen, that they would, over the phone, offer me a place to study at Alra. Uh, so I rang back at half three and the registrar answered the phone. He said, hi, James. I said, hello. Uh, it was a little bit less formal than that. And he said, so I've spoken to Ali. We have dug out your files and we have found you on the waiting list. Unfortunately, you're not at the top of the waiting list. Um, and then that's when I started to lose hope again. But then I realized I wasn't going to die. You know, it's not the end of the world. Um, and then in the in the phone call before, on the third phone call when I spoke to him, I was just like, I said, oh, I'm just ringing up because uh, Aura is my first choice and I've been put on the waiting list. I've been on the waiting list before and I just wanted to ring up and I kind of don't know how to ask this question, but have I got a place? You know, am I going to be granted a place? And that's when he said, hold the line, I'll go and speak to him, blah, 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 blah. So I called back and he said, unfortunately, you're not at the top of the waiting list, but because you have told us 
and you have made it apparent that we are your first choice and that you were on the waiting list in 2015. You've already been on the waiting list before, you've done this process before. Ali has said she has read your feedback forms and stuff like that and she would like to offer you a place to start this September. I literally, he said, I didn't say anything, he said, so first of all, I'd like to say congratulations. Secondly, um, so what's going to happen now is we're going to send you everything um, in, I, thought, I assumed you meant in the post, but I think I went deaf for a couple of seconds because I have worked so hard for three freaking years with, for two, with two jobs, trying to get by when audition time comes around so I can audition. Just like many other people do, we all, all of us young actors that are auditioning for drama school work so hard and so many people don't understand because a lot of people, like some of my friends, they just think drama school is just like uni where you go and you, you're you virtually guaranteed a spot in uni. I know not everyone's guaranteed a spot at university, but it's a lot, it's a lot easier to get into university than it is to get into dance school, drama school, musician school. I don't know much about those things, but I know it's very hard to get into dance school because dance schools are no joke. And the same with drama school, you know, say for example, a school has 30 places, they could audition up to 5,000 people a year to offer 30 places to, you know. So he said, um, congratulations. Anyway, we'll bring it back. Like, I don't want to go on too much about how much I've worked because I'm not the only person that, you know, works hard and stuff. So I don't want to blow my own trumpet. I'm not like that in any way. So he said, congratulations, you've been offered a place for this year, this September. And it is now July. You know, it was the second week into July, first week into July when I got this information. And I remember I just, I didn't know what to say. I just said, thank you as many times as I could without going too overboard. And I told Sophia to go, because we she actually picked me up and we went to a shop because she had to pick up something. Or I don't know, I think we just wanted to get out of the house or I wanted to get away from work. Um, so she picked me up and we went to the shops and because we were going for a meal in the evening. And I told her to just bugger off down there and I'm going to stand outside the shop and talk on the phone. And I remember just the first thing that I wanted to do was just to go over to Sophia and just give her a hug. And I cried like a baby. I didn't cry like a, <laughs> I just had tears because I tell you what, right, I, it, this whole process for me is, like, I would never expect someone like me, I know no, no one knows me, but, like, if you knew me from going up through school and the process of after school to go into college and then the process after college and auditioning for drama school, I, I I've been a bum, you know, I've been someone that doesn't care about anyone but himself, I've, Cause people trouble. I've been horrible. I've been this and that. I've been such a, a loser for so long that the fact that I I have chased my dreams regardless of everything else that has happened around me in my life, and I've this like for me getting into drama school now is is me achieving a dream. Like a lot of people say that you know you know a lot of people have big ambitious dreams, and for someone like me from a place from like from peterborough just like a small city in in the uk just like nothing significant happens here and you know I'm, i live i live in a council estate you know i literally and for me to achieve a lot of people will be like dude you just go and act in school but it's so much more than that it's not just acting in school you know you have a 50 50 chance of being an actor after it you know this is a, a case of i have achieved a dream that i am now going to start succeeding like I'm, I'm gonna take it further i'm getting quite emotional i don't know why i think i'm a bit overwhelmed but like for me to get into drama school is is something i would have never i would have never I, for me to have a chance of getting a degree from where i've come from is i would never have like i would have never have dreamed of that happening so now i've been offered the opportunity to do it is surreal and i don't really know what to say and this is what leads me on to um, the end of this video. So I I have missed because it's so late. In you know, uh, most of the people were offered their places, and because it's so late, I have one and a bit months to find a place to live, and I also have one and a bit months to raise six thousand eight hundred eighty five pounds to go towards my first year of tuition fees. Oh, this is where I start to sweat because I can't I can't. It's taken some time and understanding that it's okay for me to ask for help. You know, I don't ask for help all the time. I, 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 I usually, you know, I provide for myself. I don't ask for help all the time. So it's taken me some time and convincing to understand and accept that it's okay for me to ask for help right now. For me to achieve and to start working towards my profession, you know, 
acting is something that I've wanted to do my whole life and for me to be given a chance to do this is indescribable. I don't know how to explain what I feel. So I'm asking for help. There's a there's a link in the description to this video which will take you to a crowdfunding page that I've set up and Basically, I wanted to apply for a Dada, which is a dance and drama award. It's a scholarship which funds the course for me. And so I I was too late to get one of those, being how too late, because of how too late I've been accepted in, onto the course. Um, so I can't apply for a dance and drama award, so I actually have to fund student loan the first half, because the own... Like I can only get a student loan up to six and six thousand one hundred pounds, and then the rest is covered by private funding, which I can't actually afford. I've got, I've worked a lot to save up as much, which I wouldn't think twice about pushing it all into my tuition fees. And if that's what I have to do, then that is exactly what I will do, because no amount of money or materialistic item will be as good as what I'm about to embark on now. So all I ask basically it's for some help even if it's one one pound or ten pound or whatever to go towards my tuition fees i have one just over just under two months to raise this amount of money to go towards the course and secure my place on the first year and then after that i'll have to just figure out myself how i'm going to be able to fund the second two years which should be an interesting ride but first my first priority is to just sort out the first year and 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 secure my place on the three-year acting course aura so if you could check out the link below even if you can't donate please share the link and share this video to your facebook twitter myspace bebo anything that is used today i know myspace and bebo probably isn't used today but i'm only joking but uh, if you can't spare a penny just share it so we get the word out and i just want to say for those of you who have watched me on this journey and commented on my videos and told me not to lose hope, it's happened. I have gained a place at drama school and this is the most insane thing that could have happened to me. And I really do want to thank you guys for believing in the fact I shouldn't lose hope ever and I should always keep on fighting for what I dream and believe in. So I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys and also thank you to everyone that has taken the time to watch these videos and maybe get some help from them like i want to offer i wanted to offer as much advice and help i could whilst auditioning because i know a lot of people because i did the same went to youtube to watch actors auditioning um they wanted to watch their videos on their auditions and stuff so i want to say thank you to watching all of them thank you for watching all of them and also i don't know what to say I am actually completely overwhelmed. Just thank you for, for being a part of this journey and thank you for, if you have donated anything, um, make sure you comment or message me on, or find me on any social media, message me your message me your address or your PO box or your email or whatever and I'll, I'll send a letter of thank you and I will, it won't be a case of you give me money and I'll just forget you ever existed because that's, that's not what I'm kind of looking for. I'm looking for help and support. So... I guess it's, I'm going to end the video now. It's 13, it's 14 minutes. Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching and I hope we can all enjoy what the future has to offer. Peace.